हे गाइज वेलकम बैक टू आर्की ब्लॉग्स टू अ चैनल वेर वी टॉक अबाउट फैसिनेटिंग वर्ल्ड ऑफ आर्किटेक्चर एंड डिजाइन इन टूडेज वीडियो वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ बायोफेलिक डिजाइन हाउ इट कैन कनेक्ट ह्यूमन टू द नेचर इन दिस मॉडर्न अर्बनाइज वर्ल्ड वेर वी आर स्पेंडिंग अ लॉर्ड ऑफ टाइम इन इन साइड और इन डोर्स दीज आर द कॉन्सेप्ट दैट कैन पुश आर्किटेक्चर फर्दर to collaborate with nature and bring nature to our indoor spaces which will not only improvise the sense of that space but also help us build a better indoor environment for human well being so guys without any delays let's get started with the concept of biophilic design so guys in our current world we spend a lot of time indoors into a small box probably have a small plant like this inside our office space but is this the best option for us my answer is no we can involve the concept of biophilic designs now to our indoor spaces to not only make our spaces more productive but also improvise our mental health and well being as well biophilic design has a lot of principles so the first principle and the most basic principle of biophilic design is to use natural light how you will increase the natural light in an indoor space is a very crucial aspect of biophilic design it can involve larger windows it can involve indoor courtyards it can even involve the light well concept as you can see on your screen right now so these are the essence of biophilic design when you involve outdoor lighting or indoor or indirect outdoor lighting into an indoor atmosphere it not only improvises your mental health but it also keeps your body in tune with the natural clock so by natural clock what i mean is when it is day time you will mostly find or like 80 or 90% of the people will mostly find it very difficult to go off to sleep and as the night goes or at the as the night approaches you will feel more of sleepy even if you are not tired so that's called your natural clock even jet lag is based on that principle as well so this helps in that aspect of your well being next aspect or the next principle is to involve natural uh, elements or you can call vegetation inside the indoor spaces so the first aspect the light will be used to keep these indoor plants or indoor spaces alive how plants will help you is it will first of all maintain a better indoor air quality if you will further go ahead and study for lead indoor air quality is one of the most important aspect so there are many research that have been done for indoor spaces where um, vegetation is involved into the indoor gardens or indoor spaces or vertical plantation has been involved into a office environment it has shown results that people are more productive they are more calmer there are less arguments there is less stress overall in the office atmosphere next aspect is bringing in the water body this is one of my favorite aspect like natural light is obviously it is very important greenery is also very important but water is something that i love to have indoors like a indoor pond or indoor pool not swimming pool but indoor pool that has vegetation and that has landscape around it so these kind of things actually make the atmosphere more cooler more calmer and quieter next aspect is that it actually rehumidifies the air as well because air keeps evaporating even if the evaporation is very very minute still 
it does cools down the space to a considerable amount so that is one aspect and another mental aspect is like whenever you are near a water body for example just consider a small water fountain is there or a small landscape has been done inside your office atmosphere and you can hear the water falling or water flowing that will naturally calm you down that will naturally make your mental health better so this is also a very important aspect and one of my favorite aspect of biophilic design and guys biophilic design isn't limited to your indoor spaces you might have heard about the terrace gardens roof gardens or outdoor roof gardens so these are the concept that also are included in biophilic design these are not just an architectural add on to make your spaces look good but these are also an aspect that improvise human mental well being like there are a lot of educational institutes who have involved these things into their structures like you can see on your screen this is algonquin college they have a small section where you can see the entire green wall and another section where they have outdoor roof garden this is a platinum rated building by the way i have made a full tour of this building but yeah so these are the concept that you can utilize and just imagine being in a space where you are working for long hours probably the work might be stressful but by involving these techniques like natural light good ventilation water body greenery you can even use fishes in those water bodies like that's my personal comment but exactly these kind of concepts are actually improvising the well-being of human and the quality of the indoor atmosphere and you guys can also go ahead and experiment with these kind of things there are few of the references that i have tagged in the description as well and guys this is all for today's video i hope you enjoyed it i hope you like the concept of biophilic design and i hope you will involve biophilic design in your future architectural projects and guys if you like this video go ahead hit a like and subscribe to my channel i do need your support i am growing and i am thankful for all of your support who have given me support but still there are at least 50 or 80% of the uh, audience who are watching my video almost regularly but not subscribing so i urge you all i request you all to go ahead hit a like and subscribe to my channel it won't cause you any harm but it will definitely boost my morale it will boost my uh, confidence in making these kind of videos so go ahead hit a like subscribe to my channel take care of yourself and see you soon bye bye